Hey guys, welcome back. It's Hatomo Burrito, part 6 of Diablo 3. We're still in this uh, tomb. We just got a bunch of abilities, and we're getting yelled at for our inventory, too. New items. Uh, none of them look better than what we got, but we... Oh, wait. Yeah, this one's way better. Uh, for dexterity. You always want to have more dexterity over uh, almost anything else. So we just had some new abilities. Now we swing... Oh, wow. We swing around instead of swinging at people. Interesting. We're not going to run at them, but I think that's okay. And this right-click ability, Wave of Light... Oh, it's the bell thing! Oh man, you can stack the bell thing, too. So let's, let's try that out. Let's see. It costs so much uh, spirit, though. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of spirits. This is a big, uh, aggressive ability. Uh, so this is going to replace the other AoE attack we had and do lots of damage. Yeah, this is nice. Get the bell out there. Finish him off. Okay, looks like there's nothing here. I think this is probably the right way to go. Let's see if it wraps around on the right side. Oh, uh, Pool of Reflection. I don't think I've talked about this yet. Until we get to this mark on our experience bar now, we're going to get 25% more experience. So it's kind of like the experience shrine we got earlier, but it's just a little bit more incentive to just play out that last minute or so so you fill up that bar. And yeah, it makes it a little bit easier to level up. It's always nice when things help you level up faster. It's one of my favorite mechanics in a, in a grind game like this. Gonna hit the pots. Pots have stuff in them. What you ask we missed impossible. the other area. The but, oh. Yep, crown's not here. We're gonna quickly go and look at what was the other area real quick. And then I think we might, might actually be faster to go the way we came in. Instead of using that nice free portal. Keep jumping through things. So glad we have a, uh, a jumper ability, a high mobility uh, movement thing, so early on in the game so that we don't have to sit through me walking through so much of it. Oh, there we go. Why don't they just call this the bell? Wave of light. That doesn't, you know, it should be called something like chime of, chime of monkey or something like that. Like, it's the bell ability. Show us the bell ability. Okay, there's nothing here. My bad, guys. We will just go out through the front. Again, you can see the little uh, square areas that they use to make the uh, the whole areas. We just saw this area before, huh? They're actually pretty good about it. Usually there's not too many duplicates on a level, uh, on a floor itself. You'll usually see duplicates over the span of the whole game, of course. More empty equipment slots. Is it this guy? No. Oh, it's a ring. We got a ring. Cool. Uh, gonna get strength. We don't need strength. We need dexterity. Uh, that's unfortunate, but, you know, we don't have any ring, so there we go. Let's, uh, there's like three other. Isn't there one right here, too? What's up here? Oh, it's just a dead villager. I don't know what this tomb's about. That seems really weird to put it there. Alright, let's try another tomb here. Let's try this tomb. The filed Crypt. This is gonna be just like the last one, so. I'm just gonna go explore through it. Go quickly here. I think we can get these guys, no problem. God, that bell does a lot of damage. That's a ton of damage. Oh, wait, is there an altar? Okay. That's not the Chancellor's altar we were looking for. Let's just keep going through. Um, I think we're going to go right. Oh, we got some uh, some new guys there. Some uh, champions to fight. The brigands, they have the mortar ability, which is that fire stuff you see coming out here. More bells, more bells. Uh, that's a really painful ability when the elites get really good. It's very hard to dodge them, They're just everywhere. And yeah, that's even doing some good damage to us right now. And we got him. Uh, let's get this blue. I guess we can get the, the white too. Down here we go. Just have him chase after us. I wonder if this one wraps around. Poor bats. So, do these grave diggers not attack me unless I attack them? That kind of seems what they do. Oh, I blinded them or something. I don't know if my... Da it dazes them on the third hit, so... Okay, so every left click ability is a third is like a three hit ability. The third hit is usually pretty great. 
So this wraps around. Oops, probably shouldn't have double dashed into him. 19. Let's see if we can get a combo going on here. Anyone up here? Yep. Let's fight this guy. Oh, he hit me back. Might ruin my, uh... Eh, yeah, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Oh, I saved it. Saved the combo meter. That'll probably do it, though, right? It's a stone coffin. Okay, nothing. So far, we're doing pretty good exploring the whole area. All right, this is the real defiled crypt. Okay. Uh, the normally, they don't have a second level. Yep, she knows. How near here? Oh, no! Pulverizer. Mangle Maul. Good name for an enemy. Make sure not to get hit too bad. So he's dazed. I wonder what that means for an elite like this. He's not hitting me. Okay, there he goes. Ugh. Okay, make sure to... Oh! Get out of that. We're blocking most of his uh, attacks, though. wonder if it's the daze that's doing that or what. So if it's like a two, a two hit attack there, that's what it looks like. You go one, two. All right, I'm out. One, two. How much spirit does that take, by the way? I wonder. I shouldn't have done that like, double hit there. I should have just gone back one and ran back up. Got him. The unburied are formed from human corpses that were flung into mass graves without a proper burial. This hideous amalgamation of bodies decomposes together into one being, bound by some foul magic. For all my knowledge, I could only flee from it. And I would expect any other sensible person to do the same. Alright, so we have... I don't want to switch off the Dashing Strike, but we'll try this Exploding Palm. Cause an enemy to bleed for 1,200 damage. That's field school over 9 sec. Okay, so this is a bleeding ability. Um, I'll be interested to see how that works. And a uh, new thing, Exalted Soul, increased maximum spirit regen. There's, uh, oh, so now we just can just get spirit regeneration. That's kind of cool. I think we're just going to generate it normally and uh, attack people. So how does this work? I think I, okay, I need to have a, an actual person to use it on. Let's try this guy. Okay, so he's bleeding. Doesn't seem to be that good, actually. The bleed's alright, but it actually seems underpowered for what it is. I guess it's for single person attacks, not for these big wave groups. I tend to like fighting the big waves more than I like fighting one or two people, though. Okay, let's look at the altar. No, I will not allow you to bring that monster Leoric back to this world. Oh no. Oh! Good hit. Yeah, so I'd like a bleed right now. I guess I could have switched over to it to help out with this fight. Have enough spirit. You gotta be careful about getting hit like that. He's actually uh, sapping out uh, some HP for me, so that is actually a real drain uh, that he's doing. I feel bad for this guy, because he doesn't want us to mess with the Auric. Uh, I think defending the crown is going to stop that, but... It's gonna like summon him. You know, I don't quite remember why we need the crown. We just need it because reasons. So that's kind of what this game could be like sometimes. You just don't know exactly why you're doing things, but you know, it's towards a greater goal of beating Diablo, and that's fine. So we just actually just were given the town portal. We've had it before, but normally if this is your first game, they would say, okay, well, you know, you're pretty far away from town. We didn't give you a thing this time, so now you hit I'm the T button, return back to town, and uh, pretty standard stuff. In the old games, you'd actually have to have a scroll and actually an item you'd have to use to get back to town, but they just give it to you now. So, super appreciated. I like this uh, quality of life stuff. And uh, yeah, let's go talk to you Hadrian. Found the crown. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd make it back alive. Ah, it needs repair. Should be no problem. It's good to work again. Tink. Tink. There. New is the day it was placed upon the Black King's head. I need something more than making spades to occupy my mind. I want my life to mean something. As you should. You will craft for me weapons with which to carry out my sacred duty. I have other news. 
Your apprentice is dead. Ouch. Fool boy. For the worst, and you will not be disappointed. Thank you for the news. Poor guy. He just has like the worst luck. Let's hear about uh, any other new things. Yeah. I wish to hear more of your grandfather, King Leoric's Chancellor. Not much to tell. I lived with my father in Chaldeum at the time. We heard that my grandfather stayed in Tristram until the end, trying to save lives. Don't know if he succeeded, but there it is. When so the skeleton king fell, my grandfather was dying from a sword wound. He had the crown sealed with him to keep it safe. It pleases me to hear this story. Your grandfather was a good man, and surely the gods smile upon him. So that was the same area. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the same blacksmith uh, from Diablo 1. This game is just full of references there. I am surprised to see you working so soon after your wife's passing. There's no point in hiding my face in a pillow. You need weapons, I make weapons. Work needs getting done. Pretty cool guy. I find devotion admirable, and the quality of your work is impressive. We will speak again. So I think for now we're gonna have him. We're gonna have him make us a uh, make us a uh, shoulder. So we gotta look for the shoulder section. Uh, these are we have unlocked tons of things in our other character for us here, and let's look for a shoulder. Here we go. We need. Uh, we are level 13. Oh, we can't. Yeah, this are, these are too high, so we can't actually build anything that uh, we can actually use yet. We need to be 19 at least. So we're gonna wait on that. We're gonna try and build some stuff for us later. And uh, yeah, let's. Uh, anyone else got new things to say? Nope. So let's I go talk to Deckard. Where is the skeleton king? Ah, at last. With it, you can unlock the sealed door in the room where you rescued me and enter the royal crypts. When you find the skeleton king, place the crown atop his head and destroy him. Okay, so we have the crown the to the destroy the skeleton king. Sure. Land. I will end his reign and find the fallen star. Cool, cool. So now it's telling us, hey, you can use the waypoint to get back there. But uh, I don't think we're going to do that right now. We're going to end the video right here and come back. And next time we're here, we're going to go back into the cathedral and make it happen from there. See you guys later.